the shape. Look at the hat. hat. See. What kind of face is it? Savvy. Good. Awesome. <laughs> that is fish. Fish is get. Get away. Excellent. Good job. You made it all the way to the end of that one. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good all right, are we ready, guys? Yes. yes. So what is your object? Bananas. And your action? Brushing our, our hair. And you're saying? Whatever you do, do not press those buttons. Already in three, two, one. Oh, I just love these new brushes. Look, banana missiles. Let's press these buttons. <gasps> what? Whatever you do, do not press those buttons. <laughs> oh, bananas in my hair. I got bananas all over me. What, what about you? Yes, yuck. And the writers play. We're playing Montreal. Montreal. Ella West. Ella West. Oh wow, that's great. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Hey, hey Mike, how are you? Man, I'm tired of keeping up with this guy. I know, he's getting so fast, I can hardly keep up with him on our run. Yeah, we're getting ready for a two-kilometer race uh, next week. How are you feeling about that, buddy? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes, you feeling ready? Yeah. Well, I can't wait to good. see you run. Come here, buddy. I'd like you to go and get yes. this changed, and I'm going to talk with your teacher, okay? I'll see you in a couple minutes, okay? Right. Thanks, Mike. See right. you. Hi, Colleen. Oh, hi. Do you have just a minute? Sure. I just wanted to thank you. We um, we used your uh, loved your idea of having Caleb dictate a story at home. So we sat down as a family last night and had him uh, dictate a story of a favorite TV show of his, and we mm -hmm. sure had fun doing it. He really enjoyed that. Well, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I did man. I got your email. I printed that off so he can read it in class. I've noticed he really does so much better when he's had a chance to pre-know it, he kind of is real familiar with it, and you can get it just, you know, so much easier for him. Oh, that's good news. I know that since you've been doing, um, using sports course to do his math here at school, he's been really excited to get up in the morning and grab the sports section of the paper, check the scores, do some math, bring it in, so that's been a lot of fun. Good, good. Yeah, I know his math scores have definitely improved over the year. He's definitely getting much better with the math. It's, it's a lot stronger than it was. Oh, that's good, good to news. see. Yeah, I also wanted to share with you, you know, we were just on a road trip uh, this weekend and visiting family, and we listened to an audio tape of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang on the way, and, and he sure loved listening to that story. So that might be something to think about doing here in terms of mm -hmm. uh, the books that he's reading. Okay, actually, this is our novel study that we're going to be doing as a class. Okay. Maybe you can check and see if you can get hold of a, a CD of this one. Well, that's a great idea. I'll go home and check tonight, and then I can let you know if we find it or not. Right. If you can't find it, maybe you can read it onto CD, or maybe even just read it aloud with him so he's familiar well, with it. Sure, that's a great idea. We'd be happy to do that. And I know he's going to love a story with dragons in it, so yeah. thanks for picking Good. this one. Okay, Super. thanks. Super. Enjoy your evening. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks very much. Bye now. When they the cheer at the what is steam when they play Montreal Alouettes. Nice job, Caleb. Identify strengths. Build on strengths. Identify interests. Set children up for success in learning. Find solutions together. Share and celebrate successes. I believe this strength-based approach is important because you're identifying and focusing in on the students' uh, gifts, abilities, and needs. You can work with the parents to observe what their child can do, set goals, and then celebrate the progress throughout the year.